Well, here we are back, Goal Getters, again. I'm uh, your host, John. And John, but out. Hey, what's up, John? Hey, John. Glad to have you back. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Robin's here. Hey, Robin. Hello. Happy to be here. Happy to, to have you here, most importantly. Yeah, Wade's here, of course, and he's doing all of his stuff, as he always does. Perfection is Wade. Amazing Wade. Wade. Yeah, with our video, audio, and everything. Here at Beautiful Gorillas, Inc. And, um... Yeah, I'm glad we're back. We were off last week, and the reason was I was in surgery um, on the stay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Mercy Hospital in Buffalo is unbelievable. And um, all the people there were really nice. I mean, they were un unreal. And they, uh, I can't say enough about them um, because they made a horrible, you know, it's a nerve wracking time. Feel good. Oh, no doubt. You know, because sometimes, you know, they had really good, all of them were really nice. And actually, wait, while I was there, the overnight nurse, is a Gorilla Zinc fan. Awesome. She had a, um, she showed me on her phone how she uh, subscribe, you know, subscribes to our channel. Beautiful. And I thought that was, mm -hmm. uh, that was out of nowhere, you know, so that was really cool. So they cool. must have thought they uh, had a celebrity. In yes. <laughs> treat them. Awesome. Yes, treat, I did get a lot of jello. Treat them like a star. Really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really cool. But when I saw that, I was like, man, all right, nice. So all the hard work is paying off with yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, uh, John, it's 39 degrees today. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. I mean, it's Weekend. supposed to be like out there with the family, playing catch with the kids or yeah. something like that. It's, no, it's, it's not working out. So hopefully tomorrow it's a better day. 39, I mean, windy, rain. It's more like uh, October today yeah. than uh, almost summer. Yeah, but you know, so, last week we had beautiful 80s. Yeah. Upper 80s. I mean, we had nine at close. It was like 88 yeah. one had, of the days. They had great golfing weather last yeah. week. And today is a, is a real slap in the face. But you know what? Sometimes it's all right. Because there's so much sports to watch oh, on yeah. TV, so much playoffs and things going on. And that's what we're, we're here for is to talk about talk that. Talk about sports. Yeah. It's a good time of year. It is a great time yep. of year. Now, you do need to have your – I can't because I can hardly look left or right now because of my neck surgery. But you need your head on a swivel yeah, to see everything sure. that's oh, going yeah. on. So, uh, right. Everything's heating up, too, the baseball, hockey, yeah. and – Basketball. Uh, basketball playoffs, they're, yeah. uh, they're all heating up. Now, Robin and, will be watching the uh, message board, just like all of us, but Robin especially watches it. And uh, please put your comments in. We'll uh, it'll be answered in the message board and stuff, or however we get to it. You know that. Yeah. Um, remember, this is Goal Getters and uh, Gorillas Inc. All right, let's move on to the NHL, John, sure. real quick. Because as we left off, the NHL playoffs, I don't even think it started yet. Um Right? Two yeah. weeks ago, yeah. probably not. No, no. It's yes. probably towards the end of the regular season. Yeah, there. yeah, and I know the North Division. I think they were starting the next day. Next yes, day. Yeah, and the yeah, North. They started on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Right, and the North Division hadn't finished yet because of COVID. Right. So they were having their, you know, before the North could set up. Well, let's go through a few things. Um, first off, let's talk about the, the Eastern Division because that division is already settled. Um, the Islanders. Uh, they, they handily, pretty much handily knocked Pittsburgh out four games to two. Yeah, I was like yeah. really surprised. Yeah. They're expecting Pittsburgh to go pretty far. Yeah, and they, the and Islanders just... are tough. They're a tough team. Barry Trotz, you know how that is. Yeah, and any team he's been on, they're always a tough team. So defensive I'm, style. I, I'm looking at the Islanders maybe to go far. Oh so. yeah, well you know, and Lou Lamorello again. He's constantly builds winners. He builds good teams wherever he goes. The Devils, the Maple Leafs, you know. Mm -hmm. At least he gets them to the point where, okay, and if you notice, he gets them to a point, then he hands it off to someone else. Okay, yeah. I've given you, now go ahead. And that's Take, what Buffalo like, could use. Yes, definitely could use them. A so, little Amarillo type. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, m maybe. I mean, you never know uh, if, if the money's right. But he's done a great job yeah. on the island. And um, the Islanders did dominate with size. Mm -hmm. Really, they just outsize him. Matt Martin's a hell of a player. Oh, right? yeah. Think about it. Um, he's, you know, rookie goalie, Sor Soroykin. He, yep, he's been here for quite a while, I mean. Cool. And, and, and so they're they're going to be a decent team for the next couple of years, too. Goals against average, average for Soroykin was 1.95 mm -hmm. in that series. I mean, Robin, that's, you know, yeah, how yeah. do you lose? You, gotta, it's, it, you need two goals to win a game right. with him. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, you know, and that was the Islanders. Uh, they dominated the Penguins, and yep. they uh, 
you know, Pittsburgh, though, is on their left. When you really think about it, though, they are on the other end. They're yeah, on the other they're side. Yeah, on the other side you of know? the mountain. Yeah, I mean, how they're... long can it just keep? They've been doing it with just Crosby and Malkin yeah. and anyone else they can fill in with. And they're, they're up there in age right yeah. now. They're, right. what, 38, 39? Well, yeah, think so. about every year, John, you'd have, you have Malkin, you'd have, you have Crosby, and really they'd find a guy like... Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think of a name of a guy they'll throw in there. You know, they get one of those guys that are worth a million bucks, put him in there, yeah. and play really well. Yeah. You got yeah. Latang. Latang. You know, mm-hmm. but they'd always add in that guy, whether it be like a, I think a Sheary all the time mm-hmm. in my mind, or uh, there's others. You yeah. just plug in. And um, seems like they've done that in the past as well with Yager and yes. Lemieux. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know. Exactly. It's been their formula, you know, mm-hmm. and it's worked. And especially now in a salary cap league it's even better yeah. but those guys are starting to hit over yeah. the um you know they're going over the rainbow and it's it's they, they got it proven to them their goaltending situation too isn't really good well, believe it or not so. Jager's still playing over in europe and really? he's, he's going it, it strong yeah. Me yeah. All, yeah but uh wow, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's still going He'll, mm-hmm. he could come back oh yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be now. Anyway, Ooh, no. he, i'm he's gonna imagine he's, 60. <laughs> yeah. no, he's he's close to fit he's around 40 yeah, well, about 48 yeah. 48 He's yeah. running there. But, you know, like I'm saying, though, I mean, they, the Islanders, it, it's it's a natural course is a team like the Islanders should overtake right. the Penguins. Um, this next one was a little more shocking to me, not because I didn't think Boston would win. It was just in how they did it. I mean, they knocked they knocked the Capitals out four to one. Yeah, they, they, they kind of they, they kind of beat them at their own game, uh, yeah. basically. Is... Yeah, they dominated that team. They really did. It was it was dominating. Mm-hmm. They Marchand, that line of Marchand, Bergeron, and uh, Pasternak is just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, they call it the Holy Trinity line. Yeah, they're, 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 they're out they there flying out there every night. I mean, yeah. they're just side fires. So. Marchand's a rat, mm-hmm. but he oh, plays well, though. Boston. Oh, I hate him. But he, I'd like to take, give me them Yeah. any day of the week yeah. on my team. Oh, yeah. You know? mm-hmm. uh, Marchand is just, he's become more than a rat, though. The guy's scoring 30 goals now. Right. I, I still see the honors handling that in, uh, in six games. That's my prediction, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what we got coming up next is the so. New York Islanders against the Boston Bruins. Um, that's for the Eastern Division Championship. And uh, for me, you're going to have goaltending against, I mean, it's going to be Rask, and it's going to be Sorokin. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can't see this not going seven. I feel like it goes seven games. Yeah, it's two good goalies, it could. And, and they play the similar, mm-hmm. very similar. Um, you know, I don't know who has more firepower. Probably Boston, as far as scoring. Definitely. Yes, um, great on a power play. Or yeah, th- th- that line. They've always had one line, and it carries them. Yeah. Every other team. It dominates. Yeah, but every other team has to like go crazy to find that second line center. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! And nobody can never figure them out too. Yeah. It's like they're always. Yeah. Every game, it's like they score. It's no matter. Oh, he, oh, he loves, yes. Mm-hmm. He looks, yeah, because he doesn't have to be that guy. Right. Those three guys are there, and that second line of Hall, Krejci, and I don't even know who has done well. I mean. And you got two Rask still playing lights yeah, out. No. no. Yeah, Hall looks good. The team looks good. Just when you think you have them by the throat, you don't. And the Bruins uh, handily took care of the Capitals. Um, four games to one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard, and you, you brought this up, John, on the way in. That um, we know that Ovechkin wants a um, wants another contract. Yep. And you were saying he's talking Seattle. Yeah. Wouldn't that be interesting? Mm-hmm. Big payday. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got, they got money to th- throw out there, so that's why I, I I could see him going there. And it would be perfect because the new franchise, he'd be the face of it, obviously. Mm-hmm. And uh, kind of a good idea. I, I would love to see if that is going to happen. I'm sure the Capitals have to move on eventually. Yeah. From from him, and he's been dominant. He's yeah. one of the best players of all. They got time. some aging yeah. players yeah. on their roster, so they got to start thinking down the road too. I think about Ovechkin is probably one of the greatest scorers mm-hmm. we've ever seen. I don't yes. know if there's one any better than him. Uh, Just pure score? Yeah, there's no one. No, Mike no, Boston no was all. incredible when yeah. I was a kid. Um, Right now, I mean, Matthews probably takes over that role in the league now, just for one single season. We'll see how it continues. Mm-hmm. But, like, it, it, unbelievable. That guy, remember the times when there would be a power play when he was a little bit younger. Oh, yeah. He scored. Yeah. yeah. Oh, One-timer in. 
That was that was it. Was All the time. Out. Remember the time the I can remember teams just putting two guys on him. Yeah. Uh, just oh yeah. yeah it you couldn't was, stop him. No, there was, there was no way. So and he's a tank. Mm-hmm. He's a big guy too. You know, not and, he, a, and he's not afraid to use it either. No, he he's he is one of the best we've ever seen. For a superstar, yeah. he mixes it up a lot. He sure does. A lot of times, the superstars like to stay mm-hmm. out of the you know right. the dirty areas, but he's not one to be afraid of it. So those two those those series are done. You think the Islanders win that series? Yes. Boston, how many mm-hmm. games are you putting it? Uh, six. Robin, do you got anything on that? I think Boston wins in six. Wade, any thoughts? I'm like in Boston and uh, in five. And I'm gonna go Boston in seven. Um, it's gonna be good. It'll probably be one of the. It'll be probably one of a better series. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's move on to the <clears throat> Central uh, Division. Um, and there, right now, last night, as a matter of fact, uh, the Hurricanes. Sebastian Ajo uh, won it in overtime, beating the Predators. And what is that series? Three games to two? I don't know why I don't know. What is that series? It's got to be, yes, it's 3-2. 3-2. 3-2 three, two. Three, two. Three, yeah. two now. Carolina's up 3-2. Right. Get on the thing. Robin, go, can you check, please, to make sure that I'm saying that right? Because mm-hmm. if Sebastian Ajo, I, so the, it was 2-1. No, it couldn't have been. What? Check, check, just just find out for me, yeah. just to make sure. But anyways, they defeated the Predators last night in overtime, 4-3, Ajo scores. I want to make sure I know the, I, say, I got it written down as 3-2, but it seems weird. I didn't know Carolina was even with them. Oh, Carolina won the series. They won, they the, won series the series last yeah. night. That's right. They won 4-2. 4-2. They win the series. So Carolina, that's right. Carolina moves on. Sebastian Ajo wins the game for them in overtime. If I'm not mistaken, didn't they have four games in a row that went to overtime in yeah. the series? I think yes. you're right. Yeah. There was like, yeah, mm. I think double overtime. Just, Carolina yeah. could be a surprise team in your for the, for the Cup. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And so they, they took out the Predators, who put up a good mm. fight. Yeah. Um, Carolina, uh, their goaltending... They surprised me a little. Yeah. It, yeah, there was three straight. You're right, Robin. Two mm. double overtimes. Yeah. And then a, then a single overtime game. Yeah. Um, the goaltending was great. Soros for Nashville was unbelievable. And the rookie, uh, let me say his name, Ned Javokic, he was, is, is playing very well for yes. Carolina. So you have that. And so that means the following. The, now they are going to play the winner of Tampa, Florida. Tampa dismisses a Florida four games to two. Um, and Tampa's dominating, yeah. appearing. Uh, Tampa looks awfully, awfully uh, good. If, if there's any team that could be Tampa, it's going to be Carolina. That's the way they play. They're well, def- they've certainly played each other yeah. ten times this year, you know, so they'll know each they other. They know each other really well. Really well. So, um, But the the goaltending in Tampa is just, it, it's it's world, it's the best in the world mm-hmm. in Vasilevsky. Um, you, you know, Stamkos is in and out of the lineup, and it doesn't even matter. Mm-hmm. Braden Point. Yeah. Um, and we're not even talking about Kucherov. They got so right. much depth. He could rest the guy one yeah. day, bring him back the next game, and it's the type of team that you could make mm. another team out of their out of their depth. For sure, <laughs> you know, type you of know. thing, and and possibly mm. uh, make the playoffs. And so they got a heck of a minor league system there too. It's like and a great and, and John Cooper's it, been there now yeah. all the time. Um, the Predators put up a nice, good fight though on the Hurricane side. I will say they put up a good fight. Florida, on the, on the other hand. Had goaltending yeah. issues. Bobrovsky oh. kind of he he's a weird goalie. Yeah, they had some defenseman issues yeah. there too. They're they're a young team. They're going to be in the mix for a few years. I, that goal That's ten- what I was thinking. Yeah. Like they were that <clears throat> team that's taken that first step, yeah. making the playoffs, and but there's somebody that I think you should look yeah. out for maybe two years. You're talking about years. two or from two, now, two or yeah. three years. Well, they still got, you know, they got that group of guys, though, Barkov and all that. They've been there now. I mean, Barkov yeah. has to be in the league at least six years. Yeah. He came in with that whole mm. group, like the yeah. Eichels and the, right. all those guys. But Matthews. Yeah, I mean, the but, I mean, they are. Uh, that could be a landing spot for Eichel. Who knows? He's He's been sure. training down there in Florida. It'd be a great spot and for him. Who knows? Yeah. He might like it so much here, you may not want to leave. So here's so. what we got coming up in the Central Division. <clears throat> it will be. The uh, Carolina Hurricanes, and I'm obviously t- against Tampa. Um, it's hard for me to believe that Tampa is going to lose this series no. against Carolina. Right. Um, in my mind, I'm going to say Tampa in five. I, it might even be a, I, they might sweep them. It wouldn't surprise me, 
but I think um, I mean you're asking a lot out of that goalie. Maybe he's ends up being the guy, you know, right. the rookie goalie. That, 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 but I, I, I I'm going five for Tampa. John, any thoughts on the series? Uh, Tampa and six. Robin, I like Tampa and five as well. You got anything on that one, Wade? I'll go Tampa with the su- uh, sweep because of their goaltender. Four straight, yeah, yeah. Vasilevsky's too much. He's a monster, and mm. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think who even. Uh, compare him to I, mean, I don't even yeah. know he's got the speed the problem with that guy is he's got everything he, he can flop around like Hasek or he can mm-hmm. you know stand up like like Brodeur did yeah I mean, right. he's just a it's really good um he kind of reminds me of an old flyer goalie uh, what's that for yeah yeah kind of yeah kind of like like in a way yeah, yeah. Bernie Bernie Perrant mm-hmm. well, that was good hockey mm-hmm. that one series against the Leafs oh, oh yeah in 77 uh now, now we're gonna have to. We'll talk about the leaks last because it's just what we have to do. I, I don't know what to say anymore. But um, <laughs> we got the next. So that means you'll have uh, Tampa taking on the Hurricanes for the Central Division Championship, trying to whittle this down to the yes. final four. Um, let's go west for a second, and that is where tonight we have a game seven. Las Vegas is uh, it's three games to three against the Minnesota Wild. And game seven tonight at nine p.m. It's the only hockey game going mm-hmm. tonight. So, um, you know, you called it. You actually, I think, predicted Minnesota to win the the series yes. when we did our predictions. Um, what have you thought so far on that uh, one? Uh, it's been a grinder. I mean, they're not backing off, and I'm still going with Minnesota tonight. Just the way they play D. I mean, uh, yeah, they're solid. The goaltending yeah, of Cam gold, Talbot. Yeah. Wow, two shutouts. And, uh, you know. What they, else? And, and the, Las Vegas has some illnesses I read about today. Pacioretty, mm. Ryan Reeves, Braden McNabb, all might not play tonight for Game 7 due to illness. Oh, wow. Well. I'm going to guess they play, but how ill are they? You know, what's that do? Shifts and yeah. stuff. Does it tire them out? Boy, was Braden McNabb a saver? Yes. Boy, I tell you, he was like a second one. round, second round pick with the Sabers. Another one they just yeah. they just squander. They let him go after like two years. Uh, and you could see he was going to be good. Oh though. yeah. Even as a young, you could see it. He was coming on. And I was yeah. mad when they got rid of him. It's like, what are you doing? It's like. Yeah. No. Because he was he was, he was good. You, guys, you could see it in him how good mm-hmm. he was. But that's the Robin. I mean, you guys, the Minnesota Wild. I mean, they they're one of those types of teams. They had a fight to get in the playoffs to get that last spot. Yep. So they come into the playoffs already, right, generally on a, you know, whatever winning streak. I think sometimes or, that works to teams' advantages when, you know, when they don't have the rest and they're yeah. playing right through mm-hmm. and they have the momentum instead. It makes a whole For lot sure. of difference. I mean, you figure, I, I mean, Vegas was, I would imagine, heavily favored to win that series. Definitely. And Vegas now will sit there with, you got Mark andre Fleury, Robin Leonard as your goalies. Um... <sighs> You know, this is where if you're if anything happens in this game, game seven. I mean, mm-hmm. anything goes, and uh, to try to handicap that, to me, I would definitely bet the dog. If I was going to bet this game, I would bet Minnesota. Oh yeah, just take the money and run. Right. See, you know what's the point? Mm-hmm. They're probably going to be like plus two hundred. Minnesota in the under. <laughs> yeah, Minnesota in the under, right? <laughs> under five and a half. Yeah, but I mean. Um, so you know, tonight game seven, something to watch. Game yeah. sevens are great. Yeah. Uh, any what sp- whatever, any sport. Who's winning tonight? I'm taking Minnesota. Minnesota, Robin. I like Vegas. I hate Vegas, but I like them to win. Any <laughs> thoughts, Wade, on that one? I'll go with Minnesota as well. And that's a huge upset when you really think about Minnesota winning this. I mean, that is a huge upset because Las Vegas. It's a huge upset. That mm-hmm. will change a lot of things now. Because remember, when we get to the final four, they they recede. Yeah. So you, oh, know, yeah. you know who plays who. It's gonna be a big deal. You might not want to play Tampa in the first round of the uh, yeah, that's of for sure semifinals. Right. Now there's another there's another game a series. It was a clean sweep. The uh, Colorado Avalanche. Um, and I think I messed this up on you, Wade. So you're probably gonna want to kill me. I apologize. <laughs> 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 I know you did. I just. Usually we're on we're on pace. I'm just I went off I went off the board. It's it's a surgery <laughs> thing. These wacky pills. We'll let you go. And all the nonsense <laughs> and everything yeah. else. But anyways, the Avalanche they dismiss St. Louis pretty quick. Four zero. They're sitting around. I was very um, impressed with that too. Yeah, I mean they. Jeez, uh, it felt like I. 
Their goaltending was Grubauer. He's played well yeah. for Colorado, really well. And St. Louis uh, had what, Bennington? But yeah, Benning, yes. The yeah. guy they brought them to the Stanley yeah. Cup, you know, Jordan Bennington. Two, two years ago, yeah. Um, they were overwhelmed. Um, you know, Colorado just overwhelmed them. They've been a good year, all good team all year. And uh, there's a big situation, though, with, with Nazem Kadri. Let's, I want to show you guys the hit. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was. Falk got, uh, and now, well, we'll just stop telling you more about Kadri when we come back. But we'll get, to, you'll get to see it even better here, as um, you know, they they have a better angle of it, and it's uh, it's just kind of plays the NHL does not want or any mm -hmm. league anymore. It was a play years ago that would have been applauded, and Kadri would have, Kadri oh, would have been a first star. Yes, oh yeah, it would have definitely been a first star. That put Scott Stevens in the uh, Hall of Fame. That mm -hmm. hit right there. Ooh, that goal though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, right? Sure did. And there it is. I mean, that's just. Oh yeah, he's got. Oh, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Here, this is a really good view of it again. Mm -hmm. I mean, watch him just come across. I mean, I mean, it's. That's like I said. Uh, th those those kind of hits used to change a playoff series. Oh yeah, remember it was a big deal. Yeah. So back Steve back was, then yeah. was all the time. It's like. Knock him out. No, nobody really cared. Yeah. Oh, poor. Yes. I, I feel bad every time I hear him on radio. Lindros. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. he's he suffered so many of those. Think about Domi and how many series he changed. Oh, well, in the wrong. Yeah. 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 When he did against Niedermeyer. Opposite direction. Oh, geez. Oh, when yeah. He did against Niedermeyer in '98. I think was or '99. I can't. No, it had to be '98 or 2000. Ah, I'm getting confused. But back in the 2000, maybe early 2000s, when he elbows him. And they're up three games to one. And changes he changed the whole, the whole series. The series. What about yeah. the one guy from Montreal, Nilan, Chris Nilan? Oh, he was another one. He was, yeah. So I mean, that usually is a play that everyone would have loved. Now we don't love that anymore. And uh, Nazem Kadri was traded from the Maple Leafs due to the fact that he did that twice because of that in Toronto yeah, to yeah. the Bruins in the playoffs. Same, yeah, thing, same, same thing. situation mm -hmm. in the playoffs and yeah, in and a situation where they need him. The the first one was the where, where I felt the the guy was he hit him. Remember the guy was I, I think it was uh, Krug, territory Krug was on the ground. He was he was on his knees and he hit his head right. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. The second one I thought was I don't know. Yeah. But this one here and it was funny just the day before our. Anyway, the day before, weeks before, Kadri was on Toronto radio. It was a clip of an interview. I couldn't find the audio because I would have played it for us and um, or brought it in. He had said, his comment was, I can't believe, he didn't want to leave Toronto. Mm -hmm. Right. And I can't believe I, they, they let me go. Did they really think I would do that again? And weeks later, he did it again. Yeah. And uh, now he's on an eight-game suspension. The only difference is Colorado really, I mean, they miss him. They'll probably... Mm -hmm. Wish they had them now, maybe. Especially, the, you know, but they didn't even feel it. Right. That's what I'm trying to they'll, say. Mm -hmm. They'll probably get rid of them, too. Yeah, where the Leafs felt it those years. They sure. lost in Game 7 to Boston twice. Yeah. And he kept on getting thrown, yeah, <laughs> thrown doing, out of game. Doing his thing. And they yeah. needed him. Make, yeah. Making a distraction for the yeah. team. So Nazem Kadri will be gone for the next probably six games, I think. It's a shame. Uh, he's a, he's he's a, a good, good player. player. Yeah. He really is. He's another one. He's a good, good one. Good two-way player, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. he can score you 30 yeah. if, if he has his head on straight. But now the Avalanche will be waiting for the winner of tonight's um, Vegas Minnesota game, which again starts at 9 p.m. I'm sure it's on NBC Sportsnet. Yes. And um, you know, game seven, got to watch it. Mm, oh yeah. And uh, tune in for that. The um, the next is the North Division, and the North Division is the Jets who swept away the Edmonton Oilers four straight. I didn't see that coming. N nobody did. I no. mean. I didn't. The Jets were absolutely playing horrible going into yeah. the playoffs. Yes, they were free falling. At one point, they were only two points behind Toronto for the. They, the division. they almost yeah. didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, they, the Canadians almost jumped them. Yeah, they were in a free fall. And of course, Paul Maurice, though good coach, he's a good coach. They got a great goalie. I would say he, this goalie is the number two best in the world, Hallibuck. Hallibuck, mm. an American, which is always fun um, to like be Jack the, Campbell. like Jack yeah. Campbell. And anyhow, but he. 
they, and, and I don't even know how many. I think I don't even know if McDavid scored in the series. He might have one. He had I think one. He, I think he had one, maybe. Drysital didn't yeah. have much. Yeah. And uh, I think McDavid scored one. The Winnipeg Jets are now awaiting um, the winner of the Maple Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens. Who last night the Maple Leafs, of course, had a chance to uh, close it out. Three mm -hmm. games kind of went, you know, close it out. Nope. Although they went down three, not two, nothing early. Three one. They tie it up. Losing in overtime. Um, okay, we go to game six, and that'll be on Saturday night. And there'll be two thousand five hundred people yeah. in the stands in Montreal. Mm -hmm. So um, the province of Quebec is. That'd be a good in. good thing to see there. Yeah, it's going to be a battle. The Leafs know how to blow stuff, so we'll see if they continue on their path of blowing leads. But I want to bring up something that happened in Game 1. And, I, and Game 1 was a huge series here, a huge part. Here he is. Check out what happened. Know, this series, series they're going to need the medical crew, and the officials now are calling for that right away. It happened so fast on the initial hit, that wasn't the problem, but following up on the play was Corey Perry trying to get out of the way and his knee got him right on the head. And inadvertent of the stretcher being brought out quickly by the medical staff here. It looks like the are ready to have him leave the ice and we presume take him directly to hospital for further assessment and Corey Perry over to give him a tap. And so there you have that. Now mm -hmm. that was game one. Right in the first period, about nine minutes to go in the first when that happens. The game was pretty spir high-spirited. Oh, yeah. It was, a, it was a good beginning, and that kind of took the wind out of the sails of everything. Right. That right there just put it – like it just – it was like a, the balloon. The air just came right out. Um, the Canadians win that game 2-1 in overtime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that play right there was huge. Turned the whole game around. Um, Tavares being their second-line center, obviously we know what a great player he is. Big loss for the Maple Leafs. Big um, loss leadership wise as well. Yeah, captain, captain yeah. of the team. Yeah. So um, the Leafs lose that game. Uh, they've lost two in overtime. Okay, you're not going to blame the Tavares hit. I just think it changed the momentum how the game went. Yes. Obviously, um, I want to show you what happens as we get to the, um, bef the on the next face off right okay. after Tavares is taken. <laughs> I wonder if Polino's going right out Perry, and as yeah. I think Perry's, uh, the gloves are ready, are ready to come off as the puck is dropped, and here we go. There's been a lot of talk about that all around. Mm -hmm. um, I have no problem with it. Uh, your captain got knocked out. Is actually the guy that should have got beaten up was, and why am I forgetting his name? The number eight for the Canadians. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he's a defenseman number eight. He was the guy that need Barris. Yes. The ground. Yes. Uh, Perry kind of just, you know, was the unfortunate one that they're really smacking. But really, the penalty should have been on number eight. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't have a problem with it, John, what happened there. With what no, does. not at all. Because if he doesn't do that, this whole series, people are asking, what's wrong? Why are they soft? Yeah, yeah. What did they do? What, what, you yeah, know. It would be a whole, uh, it's like you're giving up. Uh, Monshot is take over the whole series. And, and, and you if, you, if you don't do nothing. Stars, I think the whole, that that <clears throat> just opens things up for the other team. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you let your captain get knocked out like that and you don't answer, you're just asking for, We've for seen trouble. It. We've seen it happen many times. 
Um, it's like you lose the locker room too. Right. There's yep. too many guys there that have been there. Now, my, my point is though, <clears throat> Ken Dryden, who used to be the president of the Toronto Maple Leafs, and obviously great goalie back when the Canadians won all those cups, he wrote an interesting article in the Washington Post that was really kind of, I, I don't know, he was very upset over that fight. And. <laughs> Didn't he call it classless? Yeah, there's a lot of mm -hmm. stuff he was saying, but I, I don't understand. Um, maybe you should have went after the other guy, like I said, but it doesn't matter. If you notice, the fight ended everything. If there wasn't a fight, they would have ran around the whole series trying to to do whatever. Oh, yeah. Right. right. There would have been sticks. There would have been guys that got slashed. In the, you, know, you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They drop the gloves. They fight because it's hockey. It's allowed right. in that league. And um, I didn't have a problem with it. No. Then that's the end of it. Yeah. So yeah. you just move on to the next play, the next next game, and yeah, and then hope for the best. End, it's like it puts the period at the end of the sentence. Okay, this happened. It's been yeah. dealt with. Move on. Yeah. Just Wait, how about the hit? Huh? Did you see how his head snapped back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know it's very. I'm sure the Canadian player felt remorse. I mean, that that was definitely you no saw, intentional. Yeah. You saw him come over and pat him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, Scary, scary! Mm -hmm. Just how something a split second can happen like that. Could yeah. change a player's uh, career. Yeah, could have ended a life right there, man. Yeah. The way his head snaps back when pair, you know that one view they have from the back. And you know they talk about concussions with um, football. They need to maybe be looking into it with hockey. I'm sure there it's yeah, something sure, that's sure just do. Going untold, really. Well, mm -hmm. they, I rem what they've been really doing is that hitting from behind. I know they want, like, when yeah, a guy's near the board. Yeah, they want no, no, no more no of that. No more of that, mm -hmm. which is big, because people were getting paralyzed from that. Um, and like I said, they, they like that hit you saw the with Nazem Kadri on the St. Louis Blues player, 10, 10, 20 years ago, that was applauded. Oh, yeah. A standing ovation. That guy might have been a star of the game. Mm -hmm. And they, did, they are doing that, because I think they've realized they've lost so many people to suicide mm. um, because of it, just kind of like football. Mm -hmm. Think about all those guys. 20 that, years ago, they weren't wearing helmets either. Some of them, yeah, right? Yeah. So, but think about all the guys that have, that have taken their own yeah, lives. Wade mm -hmm. A whole bunch mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Uh, Bugard, most of the fighters. Yeah, right? Oh, football, yeah. Football, oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys. And, but yeah, you're right, Wade. And I, I just thought that the series has been weird between the Leafs and Canadians because there's no fans in it. Because in, mm -hmm. America, in the United States, you see the fans. Yeah. Right. And you hear the noise. You go to the, like the Edmonton-Winnipeg series was dead. Mm -hmm. It had no energy. No. Now the Leafs fly, the Leafs yeah. Canadians does, even yeah, without does. the people. Oh yeah, no matter what. There's just such a rivalry. Yes, yeah, they could play like street hockey if they wanted yeah. to. <laughs> so, But you don't have the fans there. It's going to be interesting to see what it's like game six in Montreal with 2,500 Canadians fans there. Um, Toronto either wins it there or they lose the series. Well. Yeah, I, I, that's their, uh, what do you call it, modus operandi, mm -hmm. is to uh, just yeah. blow this. <laughs> that's what <laughs> that's what we do. That's what they do. Um, and I'm used to it. But, I mean, uh, guys, I, I, what do you see? I want your prediction. Leafs Canadians, what's going to happen here? I'm going to have to go with Montreal cause, just because of the, the fans being there. That's... Do they take it in seven? Or do they just win? Do they lose it in seven, Montreal? Uh, they'll lose it in seven. seven. Robin, you're thinking Montreal in seven. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be optimistic and say the Leafs in six. Right. Um, but I think if they don't win Game Six, they won't win Game Seven. Any thoughts, Wade? I've been watching a couple of games of uh, the series, and I, I will say that uh, does Toronto's defense show up? If they do, Toronto wins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely right. That's true. I've watched every Leaf game this year. Goaltending is key, too. So. Do you realize I have not missed a Toronto Maple Leaf game in at least 10 years? That, 15 uh, years. The game the other yeah. day, like, uh, your, goal, your goalie was a fish out of water uh, yeah. many different times. Mm -hmm. um, so, on his back, I mean, yes. that yeah. defense really has to step up. If the defense steps up, Maple Leafs win. Yeah. You're right. Last night, he was he was, he was was doing that. He was, yeah. he was, he was on his back mm -hmm. when one of the pucks went in. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, I liked him from the time he was in World Juniors, and it's funny because it took him such a long time to really catch on in the oh, yeah. NHL, but I really yeah. like Jack Campbell. So, some, oh, guys, some guys take four or five years. The it's a yeah. defense. Oh, yeah, the defense. definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's, 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 he's,
he's doing everything he can out there. It's that defense that needs to get the puck out of the out of the zone. Yeah. You're right, and they got to stop being so cute. Just right. get it out. Right. Clear yeah. it out instead Clear of dropping the puck back or trying to, trying to be fancy. Trying to be fancy. It's yeah. always like a drop pass. Drop back. If you're at the blue line, let's you say you're back to no one. What about though mm -hmm. when you're going you're going out of your own end? You're ten feet from the blue line, which means you're at the off you know. And right there, they'll they drop it back to someone who's in the face off circle. Mm -hmm. Instead of just getting it out, I mean, it's it, because it's puck possession. Just get it out of there. It's, it's like, that puck possession nonsense. You know, it's almost oh, like yeah. the, the new breed of, of stats, just like in baseball. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't missed a make game in a long time. I'd no. say you haven't either. But I uh, got at least uh, 15 years now, 17. I, I can't remember the last time I missed a game. There are probably two I can think of. Um, yeah, there aren't many. We don't. We haven't missed one to, no. as long as we've been together. Unless something catastrophic is going on, mm -hmm. and even then, I might not care. You're even in the hospital watching it. Yeah, I, was, yes, I know. Yeah. yeah. See the tomorrow, see the yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, they're <laughs> healing. Get better. So the Leafs. <laughs> I know he's feeling better. Are the better. The, the yeah, the Leafs are the better team. Just oh, simply the better oh, yeah. team. It's not even close. Yeah. Even far. without Tavares. Um, they got, the they got more speed the too. In the playoffs, I do to too. Honest. I think that uh, they, they got more speed on the wing too. So when I talk about, I mean, we're talking about the the Marshawn line in Boston. I mean that that top line for the is, Maple Leafs is equal. Yeah, it's Matthews, there. Marner, Hyman. I mean, you can't yeah. mm -hmm. you can't beat that. You, you really can't. I thought Marner played terrible last night, and I thought it brought Hyman and Matthews down a lot. You can't keep Marner off the ice, though. No, um, no. Because no. He's, but he's, he's just, somebody's yeah. got to light a fire under him. I think um, Wade made a good point, though. It, it's time the defense has to just like settle in right. settle down and just do the basic do thing. what they gotta do yeah if you gotta bounce it off the glass bounce it off the glass bounce it off the board just get it out and please just not get over it the out. glass though yeah they had they three, 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 three of those yeah game one, one game for that and they mm. lost the game i know yeah. i hate that they they have the worst penalty yeah I it should be banned i don't understand why yeah. they can't call that with some discretion yeah sure they could they used to in the they excuse used, me they, they used to right you could tell when it was a delay of game or when it was just an accident yeah when it's an accident it's a Horrible call. I'm yeah. going to say the Leafs. Terrible. I'm going to say the Leafs win this in six. They've got to because I swear, if they blow this with everything they've done, with the way they have built the team, <laughs> then I don't know where you head from here. Yeah. I mean, you're just in a. Uh, I don't know where the hell you go. So that's the Leafs on Saturday night. It'll be a good one. Check it out. It'll be at probably seven o'clock. It'll be the only hockey game mm -hmm. going because I don't think the others are starting quite yet. All right. Why don't we take a break and. Um, Show some commercials, and then we'll be back in a couple moments. We'll hit the NBA playoffs. All righty. All right, folks, we're back. Um, we're going to switch to the NBA now, which has been great. Yeah. Love the NBA playoffs this yeah. year. Um, been a lot of fun. Let's go through some of the... Uh, the series is that are going on because at last we spoke there was nothing because right. they're always a week behind the NHL. Oh yeah, right. they weren't even set up mm -hmm. as to who was doing what. Um, let's go with the uh, first series being the 76ers are playing the uh, the Wizards. Wizards, yeah. Philadelphia against Washington. I still like the old Bullets name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Same I never here. understood why they had to get rid of the Bullets. Um, the Washington. I could never figure that one out. Well, that why that happened? I mean, but anyways. Um, they're playing the Wizards. 76ers are up two games to O. They're awfully good. Which you'd figure. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they got Embiid, Ben Simmons. Um, right. The Wizards, though, do have Brian Westbrook and uh, Beal. Yep. Right. So they're, yeah. they they're, gotta, they're, you know, they're there. They're all right. Uh, unfortunately for Westbrook the other night, he, he almost ran into the crowd because he got popcorn uh, dumped, dumped on his on, head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he uh, he had some interesting things to say, and he's probably right. He had said, yeah. you know, the fans really get away with murder, and the players need to be protected. I mean, he's got he's got family watching the game yeah. too. I mean, yeah, he, he's yeah. kind of right though. I mean, it's, and for some reason, it's in basketball all the time. If you notice, basketball. I mean, that was where our test went crazy, right? And uh, and and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. He got hit with a beer from like uh, twenty rows up, mm -hmm. right? And um, so you know, I mean, it, it's basketball is weird. Basketball is the closest you get. Oh to yeah, the, to the play, right? Because yeah, there's no boards around yeah. like like hockey, so you're just right there. 
I couldn't even imagine. The best I, in hockey was when Milbury beat the guy with his own shoe. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was years ago. We'll yeah, have to get video of that for us. Yeah, that's my But my if you're at a basketball moments. game, I'd almost be nervous sitting on the court. Yeah. It's kind of weird because you can... You could become part of something you don't want to be a part of. You got, you <laughs> yeah. got fans like right next to you, basically. Yeah. yeah, and if you, like, I wonder how they do it. Let's, for example, it's winter outside, and my shoes are wet. How the hell do I sit on the court? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're sitting on the court. Right. You can't make me change my shoes. No. I mean, that's. I always isn't that a dumb thing? They're, to think they're always, I always, they're always that, like yeah, mapping the courts. Yeah. And, and um, but that's going yeah. on there. I mean, we've seen Spike Lee do what he's done in the past, and he's actually cost the Knicks some games. Yeah, I mean, he got fouls because of yeah. Spike Lee. Yeah, and I Drew recall, Lee. remember that Indiana nonsense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, Jeez. And, and he, he started the whole... But he is fun. I do like Spike Lee, though. I like him, but I want him to be quiet. Mm -hmm. during. I, I'd rather him not intervene. In, yeah, uh, you just know, jump up and you, down. letting Reggie Miller go wild and then winning the series. He should be up in his suite somewhere. Yeah, or, right, so. or do something, or just stop. Don't yeah. you don't have to conversate with the players. No, just or yeah. wait till the game's over and before the game. You're not helping the Knicks. No, he actually you, hurts them. You're not sometimes. a player. You're not a player. Just yeah. just sit there like a fan. And so you're going to have the 76ers, I'm sure, are going to dismiss of the Wizards. It's 2-0. Yeah, I mean. Uh, no, yeah, that's the I, I Beal and Westbrook. It's kind of fun watching. I don't know. Did you guys ever see? And this is just way off. The Wizards uniforms been pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The old they they went back to that old bullets look. Yeah. But they were yeah. wearing gray. It was kind of cool. And they yeah. had the, the American uh, flag. Oh yeah. Flag striped yeah. down the sides. That was really nice. Kind of yeah. remind me of how I'm glow trotter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> that series, I mean. It's probably pretty well told. You know who's going to win that one. So you got that. That's the one versus eight in the East. Two versus seven is Brooklyn against Boston. Uh, Brooklyn's got Harden, Kyrie, and Durant. I mean, if you can't win with them, I mean, I, I it's time to wrap it up. They're yeah. the favorite to win yeah. it all. Definitely. Brooklyn. They have to be. Brooklyn's I mean, soft. They're going to be there. With yeah. those three, I mean, it should be. you should be able to win with just two of them. And you got three. The only thing that sometimes can be is if the ball, if there's, but they're not, I don't know. Kyrie's kind of odd, but I think Durant's really the guy. Right. He's the most underrated mm -hmm. best players I've ever seen mm -hmm. type. He yeah. really is. He's one of the best of all. He's seven foot whatever, and he does everything. Sure right. does. Dribble. Yeah. He does it all. <laughs> I mean, seven footers when we were younger were really. Just centers. Just centers. Yeah, yeah. They, play, they played block center. Block. That's block. Like, yeah. Pass the ball yeah. off, and that was it. Yeah, you're staying in the key. Watch your three seconds. Mm -hmm. That's about all you got to do. Right. And don't goaltend. But no, that guy's unbelievable. He'll bring the call. He brings the ball down the court like mm -hmm. a point guard. Mm -hmm. um, they're up two nothing on Boston. The Boston team is really weak. Um, I can't remember his first name, but Smart seems to lead them Smart's in yet. scoring. Um, I, you know, these are Walker. They're just not. They're not that good. No. The Celtics this year. I mean, I'm sure they'll reload as they always do. I had to take a year off. Reload. Yeah. But it's two nothing. Uh, all, their, all, all the Boston teams do that. Yeah, and they do it always <clears> very quickly. It seems like for some reason. I know they're amazing at doing that so quickly. It's mm -hmm. incredible yeah. how fast they. The can fans in Boston in are weird. Personnel. The fans in Boston are weird because they actually have patience somehow. Because they've watched, they you don't get the kind of nonsense you'll get out of let's say Toronto or New York. Yeah. When the Red Sox aren't going to be good, let's say one year. They kind of know it, and you don't hear it. Oh yeah, right. Now I'm not saying they would sit sit through three, four years of no playoffs and just like then you they go nuts, but they seem to give them a, that ounce of they give them that wait time for right. sure. Now in Toronto, I could see why they don't because they've been waiting for 55 years. Right. So at that point, you're not going to give them the die wait time. No. At that point. Yeah. Now you got to be up waiting long enough, like Yan like in Buffalo. Right. Buffalo's in the same boat. You can't wait anymore. The Yankees fans, I think they should calm down in a lot of ways because you've got yeah, a most lot of them through your years. Yeah, have seen a championship in their lifetime. Although I will say this drought is pretty yeah. bad. It is. When you're the New York Yankees. It but is. we'll get into that later. Yeah. Um, Boston is up, uh, I'm sorry, Brooklyn's up 2-0. Um, I believe there's a game tonight yes. at 8.30, Boston, Brooklyn. Yes. Um, the 3 versus 6, that is Milwaukee against the Miami Heat. And Milwaukee's up three games to 0. And you know who's there. It's Giannis. Yeah, yeah. of yeah. course. Yeah. I can't say his name, Rob. Anamanakupo. Anamanakupo. I like him a lot. I hope he goes to the Knicks someday mm -hmm. um, because I think he will be a free agent. Almost here. like Uko Pekalukan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're playing the Miami Heat, and you know who's awfully good? Jimmy Butler. Yes. I was just yeah. going to bring him He's really good. The he's butler good. did it, like yeah. you say. So. He's really good, and he's he's kind of reminds me a little bit of how Rose is playing for the Knicks. Yes. You know, that same mm -hmm. uh, injuries did, did upend him, but... Um, He's playing he's well. Good. Yeah. yeah, I he's, saw he's Pat up Riley there. still sitting in the crowd. Yeah. Oh, well, he's that. He's the head of the Heat. He's yeah. Like, and um, you look like he, he has an age either. Yeah. He yeah. Would, yeah. He would have like colored his like hair. I, yeah, I think he does dye his hair. No, if he would have, his hair was white last <laughs> yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> if he did dye, you'd think it was 1985. Yeah. yeah. Again. He, he did. He looked not a bit different. Except no. For the not hair. at all. The only thing he's got to realize, I think, is that's passed him by a little. Mm. Like yeah. the triangle offenses and all that stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. not Just so clever Not going to work. No. Yeah. Everything, think about how different this game is compared yeah. to the 80s and 90s. Oh, jeez. Oh, please. I'm just talking even, I'm not even talking about the physicality. Just think about a seven-footer who can now dribble yeah. and take a shot, hit a three-pointer. Yeah. Right. Or go to the basket. And was, go, it was unheard of. Unheard of. 30 yeah. years ago. I mean, you were talking Manute Bowl right. when we were kids. Yeah. yeah. That guy was on, it was like a circus. Or else you were mm. Kareem. And Kareem, you know, yes. You know, and they were awfully good. Or then you you first saw it with Shaq a little, but Shaq really couldn't shoot a free throw. No, he wasn't really a good free throw guy. You no, know, he was the big big man. Um, but Missing those, free throws is so inexcusable. Yeah, yeah especially. But but I mean, think about it. That the game is different. Um, it's a little more physical. I've enjoyed it this playoff. Yes. I've noticed that no one's at least letting people have easy layups anymore. No, right. not at all. You know, pending. I mean, you don't yeah. want to foul yourself out of a game. But um, So Milwaukee's up 3-0. They're going to close that out whenever they play again, probably tomorrow night. Um, the best series going on the east side is the Knicks-Hawks. Mm -hmm. um, it's, really, it's been really good. It's been a really good series. Sure. It has. It's one game to one tonight, 7 p.m., the first game in Atlanta. Um, Trey Young is the guy. And uh, he got spit on unfortunately at the garden yeah. the other day and i and i did see all the apologies and stuff and you know you can't blame everyone for one idiot no but he got spit on now that's what i mean and that's why westbrook is right right there's just too much you know yes there, there seems to be no it's almost like it's it's that facebook world where right. i can say whatever i want oh yeah we're on that but you're not no no you're in the crowd you know what i mean these guys might come up after you yeah right and when you're, when you're a fan, <laughs> yeah. you should be you should be a fan. You don't get interact. No, not no, like that. Not like that. You could you know there's heckling. There's there's mm. you can do things that are just harmless. Yeah. When you start going to race and you start going to family and you start doing all this nonsense, and and the spitting. Yeah. I mean, I hope that guy goes to jail because yeah, spitting is yeah, a is an that's assault. assault. Yeah. I'm and pretty sure he was banned for life. Banned for life, and I hope he's in jail. Mm. He should have been arrested and brought to jail. Um. But you know, because he would have been if he did that to someone on the street. Oh right. yeah. Oh heck yeah. 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 And beat up for it too. That's assault. Mm -hmm. So you got the Knicks are playing the Hawks. The Knicks, um, well, the Hawks. Uh, this guy, Bogdan Bogdanovic. Mm -hmm. He, he uh, awfully good. Yeah. He's an awfully good ball player. Yeah. Um, him and Trey Young. Trey Young are do, playing yeah. good ball. Yes. I think the series all revolves around whether or not Randall can get his game going. Yeah. Yeah. Julius Randall's um, struggling a little. Last night, though, he had a double-double, yeah. which, I mean, yeah. he still didn't get the points that he needs to yeah, get, but, but he was good on the boards, so that was helpful. I think he's feeling the playoff pressure a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so. I think, I think he's he not the man. Um, Do you get I what I mean? He can, yeah. I he's think, not the guy. I think he needs to step it up, yeah. and we need to see... I, He's whether just not he the ha whether he has that extra gear that yeah, play. I don't think he's the guy though. Like he's never going to be the guy. No, he has to be the. You know, we were talking about James Van Riemsdyk in hockey. Right. He's always going to be the compliment to something, in my mind. Um, Most improved player. I really hope the Knicks here. don't give him the max contract. No, I hope mm -hmm. they don't. But <laughs> what do we want here? Win a series or give him a max? You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to see anything other than what he really is in this series. Right. If it means what he is is what he is, fine. Right. Um, because if he surprises me, oh, the yeah. next thing I know, you give him the max. You give him the max. And we're in trouble we're then big. as a Knicks fan. Because no one, who else are you going to get now? Yeah. Um, because this league is a weird league. It's like playing pickup basketball on the street. Uh, for in a lot sure. Of ways with the way people are building these teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got one guy here, go get your friends mm -hmm. so right. we can play. Um, and the Knicks need to have friends. Yeah, like pick who you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So. And the Knicks need friends. And yeah. right now they they have no mm -hmm. friends no. because I don't know if Randall brings friends. Right. I, Barrett looks really good. 
I'm yeah. really, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with yeah. him. Yeah, Barrett, yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised. For being surprised. in the league for a couple of years. Yeah, and he's doing two years now. Probably, yeah, right? two years. Pleasantly surprised. Some of those other guys too. Quigley's a nice backup. Quigley, yeah. yeah. That other guy, man, he's got the hair, and I'm forgetting his name. His, his hair is almost like a rose. Oh, but, yeah. But yeah. uh, he's played well, and his yeah. name's slipping my mind. Mm. They're an exciting team. This is a very good series to watch. Mm. Knicks Hawks. Oh, Ro when you're talking about Rose. Oh, I like him a yeah. lot. Yeah, Rose. Not him. There's another big guy. <coughs> yeah, Rose. yeah. But Rose is playing good. Rose can Rose, be the guy. Yeah. yeah. See, he, but he's another one we want to give the max to. He's in his late 30, whatever. 38. He's, no, long he's great on yeah. the bench. I mean, he's you want him, been yeah. incredible. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's, he is, uh, if there's going to be any clutch, I think it's going to come from him if needed. Oh, for sure. You know? Yes. He could bring somebody yeah, with him. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe he, I mean, uh, uh, an equally good performance from him could take the place of a huge performance yeah. by Randall. We need friends, like I said, mm -hmm. and he yeah. might have friends. He um, definitely has friends. He might have friends. some that might want to come and play. I mean, mm -hmm. you're, you're going to be looking at guys that are going to be available here in the next couple of years. Even LeBron, to an extent, oh, yeah. will be available soon here. Sure. And uh, Durant. Uh, no, maybe not Durant. You'll have um, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi yeah. Leonard's going to be available. Yeah. If Kawhi gets knocked out, why not come to New York? Mm -hmm. Right. You already won a title in Toronto where you never win titles. Well, no one ever wins. Well, that's the thing, too, is yeah. I think a lot of people want to win in New York. They, they want to They're, the they're going to come here now. You should. The yeah. They haven't won since 72, right? Right, that's what 72. I mean. 72. Like people want to be on the, the winning team in New York. I was 12 York. years old. And yeah, I was <laughs> one. And that was the Mecca. <laughs> yeah. It's still the Mecca. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, you weren't born yet. I mean, think about that. The New York Knicks. It's been that long for that organization, and they've had many chances. They got there close, and they just never were able to go yeah. to the top. But if you're the guy that gets that done, yeah, I mean, yeah, he, a legend, legend in forever. Yes, and I think that's what I was trying to explain. You one get time a to someone. Uh, street in your name and everything else, yeah, and you become so. the biggest superstar in the world, mm -hmm. yeah, sporting world. Mm -hmm. if you do it in Manhattan. I mean, that, that state is in Manhattan. Yeah, not many people. You know, they're right down there. Yeah. But, um. So that's the Knicks. It'll be tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, it'll be a good one. You can watch yep. that game at 7. The Then you got the other game, the Hockey game at 7 nine. and 9. It's a good night. We're in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what? Now, we just talked about the East. Let's take a shot going over to the West. The West is, you know, the West is stronger than the East. There's no For doubt sure. about it. They, um, they have been lately. Lately, mm -hmm. yeah. There was a time. It it, it's it's rotated. And, yeah, it, it goes back, back and forth. And, yeah. Here's the know. difference, though, in this 1 versus 8 matchup. The Jazz won against the Memphis Grizzly eight, and it's a one-one series. And the Grizzlies, ja, Jay Morant is their yes. guy. He's uh -huh. a you know, and another guy Brooks. Um, the Jazz they have a Bogdanovich, mm -hmm. but his name is Bojan. Bogdan, and they're not. I don't think they're related. No. I don't think they're related. But it's it's crazy. Same last name, but anyways, the Jazz it's one-one. Um, they'll be playing. They. I don't know if it's tonight. I, I didn't write it down. Against the Memphis Grizzlies. And it seems as though the Grizzlies have had their number so uh, throughout the season. Yeah. And uh, so you might want to take a look. Yeah, that's one yeah. you'd pay attention to. It could to. be an interesting one. Um, it could be an upset. Oh, for sure. I will have to honestly say, out of all the series, the, the one I haven't really paid as close attention to, for some reason, the Jazz and Grizzlies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And with the Jazz being in Utah, it's a weird situation because you really don't see much about them. Even in this day and age, you right. still yeah. it's oh, like yeah. a different, they're in a different world. Mm. I got a surprise team, and they got they got a few Knicks ex Knicks on their team, uh, the Phoenix Suns. Oh yeah, oh, Phoenix wow. Suns. All right, well let's yeah. talk about the Phoenix Suns. It's uh, that is the Phoenix Suns in the second seed against the. LA Lakers, who are the number seven, who obviously mm -hmm. aren't a number seven. They're probably more like a number one or two or three. They did what they do. Oh yeah. So last I think night this has been the best series. Last night LA best. wins the series, uh, wins the game, one hundred nine to ninety five. Um, they're up two games to one, and uh, you know the the Phoenix the, the Phoenix Suns have a really good team, right? I mean mm -hmm. they got CP three, they've got Booker's unbelievable. That Aiton. He comes out of nowhere, oh, yeah. seven Jeez. footer. Yeah. Um, Crowder is there, and who else you got from that team? Oh, Jay Crowder. Crowder. Yeah. He was a big, big guy, Jay Crowder, mm -hmm. but he's a little bit. Yeah, he's. He's a little bit shy. Yeah, he's a little timid. 
Now the Lakers, of course. LeBron. Yeah. LeBron. And, uh, well, that's what, I mean, this is just a crazy 2-7 matchup because it's the furthest thing from a 2-7 yeah. matchup. Yeah. This could have been... Conference final. Yeah, conference, conference final, final for sure. Matchup. It's kind of unfortunate that Phoenix would have to match up it with them so, mm -hmm. so quick. But them. I think Phoenix can win. I think they can, too. Um, I think they're really good. I think not, I think when they play, I mean, all I can do is get, win this next game. Bring it 2-2. Mm -hmm. and, and I think then... Yeah. You know? I don't see it. You don't see it? You don't, don't see it, Wade? See it because of game three, LeBron started taking it to the paint. Mm -hmm. um, the first two games, he definitely, mm -hmm. uh, he wasn't shooting well from the outside. Um, that second half of that last game, he definitely brought it to the paint. That's the, that's the old LeBron James, yeah. you know, and if LeBron is playing like that, Phoenix don't have the well, yeah, because then you got to add Davis to that. Mm -hmm. Jeez, how can you even? He can't. I, he looked disinterested the other night, and even Charles Barkley and Shaq were saying that that he only took like six shots. Yeah, he, was, he just didn't look interested. Um, and I think that was two nights ago they were saying that. The, yeah, him. it was. But yeah, I mean, if LeBron played, I mean, you can't beat it. Well, right. they'll beat that team. Mm -hmm. I mean, does, does he have enough in him though to do it constantly? To no, that's enough? why he didn't play any games yeah. this year. Right? Yeah. That's why he sat out the whole that's game. Right. Sat out. Yeah. Like, These guys sit out. The, see, the whole he's thing an is effective factor when he's in there. But he when is. Does he really have? Yeah, they sit out to, and he better. He bring he, What do he play? Thirty games. Thirty yeah. games. Something yeah. crazy. If he mm -hmm. doesn't, he might might want to retire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He hardly played this year. Um, and you have Davis. Who right. is where I say Durant. I thought he got his nose broken last yeah. night, Davis, on that. Yeah. If Durant's the best, Davis is right there with him. There's another seven footer. Right. For sure. And shoot yes. anywhere mm -hmm. on the floor. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the team's unbelievable. And I feel bad because Phoenix, like I said, Booker is great. Uh, CP3 is still playing CP3, well. CP3, yeah. Eight oh, if anybody wants to buy me a gift, I want Devin Booker shoes. Yeah, well, they're $499. <laughs> right, that's okay. why I'm going to... They're nice looking, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Um.